welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. Today we're going to be doing May Favourites, which is a segment that comes up every month that shares sort of the apps, experiments, um, resources and books and things that I've managed to discover over the last month that I think that you might find useful. So the last month has been pretty exciting. Um, I have just finished university, so I'm sort of out of that environment now. I also got the opportunity to go to France with some friends. That was a really nice break. So now sort of my transition is just to continue and sort of maintain my efforts towards working as a freelancer. Now I aim to do this towards the end of 2017 and just continue this uh, journey that I'm on remote working. So let's jump into a few applications that you might enjoy. So the first one is called Soon, and it's an application that I actually got recommended to by Alex Icon. Now I've mentioned this a few times in my Anchor Station. However, for those who haven't, Soon is like a bucket list for all of the things that you want to do. Um, they're specific things, so they could be around restaurants, like books that you want to read, uh, places you want to go to, um, food you want to taste, etc. And it's all pre-created inside of this app. So all you have to do is start typing in things that you uh, like find across your day or recommendations that people said. Now, I really like the idea of this app because I have this soon section inside a Todoist that doesn't really get uh, populated or filtered as much as I want to. And having an app that is dedicated to the things I want to watch and do uh, really does help because whenever I'm like choosing a movie, I can be like, oh, I want to see this one. The next application I want to recommend is called Camtasia 3. Now, I'm not a video editor per se. However, over the last month, transitioning from iMovie to Camtasia has been actually really handy. As you can tell, I've been learning the software, but really enjoying it at the same time. So Camtasia 3 has become my chosen video editing software. So the application that I want to recommend in terms of to-do list applications is Things 3. Now, for those who don't know, Things Relaunched, um, I'll include the launch video in the description, um, but it is a new no, uh, to-do list application that many of you guys have opted into enjoy, like go and use because of its really well-designed um, experience and also its sort of new uh, esoteric feel. It's really well-created application and it's definitely worth checking out. I'll include the full review that I made uh, up here, but it's definitely worth mentioning here in the May Favourites because it's actually one of the most favourite um, to-do list applications that came across in the month of May. The next resource I want to recommend is called Teamwork and it's a Mac application that combines a to-do list and a Pomodoro timer. Now, I actually discovered Teamwork randomly. I think I was just on the App Store and I found it on um, the Mac App Store. And I think it's great. It's really well designed, really well crafted, and using a Pomodoro timer and a to-do list timer, uh, to-do list timer <laughs> available uh, just at the top bar is actually very handy. So it's something that uh, I recommend for any Mac user if they want to jump into a sort of Pomodoro slash to-do list experience. So when it comes to books this month, I have been uh, sort of overpopulating my uh, book library. Uh, I bought three books in the space of uh, the start of last month, uh, so in May. Um, and I bought uh, Sapiens to start off with. Um, this is a book about uh, sort of human history and just exploring that sort of area. It's been recommended to me so many times. And I've like, like I've told the people that um, have recommended me, like, oh, I'm going to read it, I promise I'll read it. And I just never got around to it. So I bought it so that, and I stick it by the bed and I'm about 40 pages in. It's super interesting so far, definitely worth a read. Of course, with all of these, I'll include them in the description. The next one is Lynchpin, which Alex actually recommended me because um, he recommended it for sort of post-university transition into working for yourself and sort of trying to understand that transition as a whole. Um, so I'm actually really enjoying that one at the moment. And finally, the other one is called um, Things You See When You Slow Down, I believe it's called. It's written by a Buddhist monk. And it's, it's a series of like poems, but also advice around the topic of, of slowing down and, and trying to be as present as possible. I think with all of the stuff and the business of my day, I think some of these uh, resources are really beneficial because I need to sort of make sure that I understand that whole work-life balance. So moving on to gear, uh, I wanted to shout out my bag. Um, it's something that I use quite a lot and a lot of people have been mentioning in the comments about what it is. So the bag is a 15.6 15, 15, Odyssey backpack by HP um, and that's 
because I, I, it was a weird story. I was in Barcelona and um, I was walking down the, the main strip and my bag split, the one that I had. And I had this quick, like scare, scary moment where I was like, oh my God, this is the bag that I brought over on the plane. So if I don't have a bag, I'm gonna like not be able to bring stuff back, like clothes and anything else like that. So I, I quickly ran to a department store and I asked the chap, I was like, where about this bag? Of course in Spanish. Um, and uh, he pointed towards this, and I actually found this one for about 50 euros, which is, I think it was like 45 quid. Um, it's probably about $60 in the US. It's actually been one of the best bags I've ever bought. It's really, it looks really great, and it's actually really versatile because uh, you can like put loads of stuff in different compartments. Anyway, it's one of my favorite purchases of this month, accidental purchases. So the next thing that I'm going to be introducing is a standing desk. Now, I really didn't have any, any idea that I was going to do this. I've been using my sort of cabinet as my standing desk. However, uh, a company contacted me and they were like, oh, do you want to try and review this standing desk? And I was like, yeah, sure. I didn't really know too much about standing desks. So this is going to be a standing desk that will sit on top of this desk and is sort of uh, bring the whole level up. Hopefully it will fit on this desk but I'll probably be including that in my remote work series, which I plan to launch very soon. Um, and I'll give you a sort of rundown of what that experience is like. So in terms of experiments, mentioning that remote work series, I'm gonna be launching a remote work series very soon. I'm just working out a few of the details. That is going to be covering some uh, experiences I've had with remote work so far and sort of giving you the concept as a whole. I have successfully as well launched the e-newsletter. It's been running for about three weeks now. And it's all about productivity apps. So uh, I've been mentioning it in a few videos you probably have seen. So it's definitely worth joining it if you haven't. The idea of this is really to build this community and to help uh, go a bit deeper in topics of productivity that are weekly. Because I know there's a lot of news out there that people miss because they aren't necessarily following the right things. And I think this e-newsletter will cover that. The other experiment I'm doing is Instapaper. So I've moved pretty much all of my activities from Read and Sign Up To Do It uh, to Instapaper so I can read them offline. This is something that just I think will help me when I'm offline and actually wanting to get to those reads. Now, of course, uh, ticking off them is something I like doing, but uh, in terms of practicality, Instapaper is very versatile. One final thing is I'm going to be talking a little more in two to three months about cold water immersion. And this is something that I have uh, been doing for the last four months, I'd say. Um, I've been doing it sort of at home uh, and occasionally with a friend. Um, and basically the concept is to go and sort of uh, immerse yourself fully in water, cold water, very cold water, that uh, helps to uh, produce uh, some really effective results on the body. So I'm going to be talking about that in a couple of months, but it's something that I'm doing in the background. Um, of course, this is very similar to what I did with meditation before I started talking about it. So I'll definitely be sharing that results with you in a few months. In other news, I will be reaching 10,000 subscribers very soon. So you guys will have the awesome opportunity to enter the giveaway. There will be a giant giveaway. I'm trying to talk to some amazing productivity brands to bring in as much as I can. Um, again, I reached 5,000 subscribers in like February time. So the last three months have been mad, but they've been amazing at the same time. You guys have been an amazing community to be with. So uh, yeah, kudos to everyone out there. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy May Favourites. This is going to be, obviously Favourites is going to be a monthly segment. So tune in for like the full June Favourites because I'm sure I'll be learning lots more and sharing it with you through the, app, the form of apps, books and all sorts. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.